Okay, we're outside in the rain around 10.45 a.m. It's on a Thursday, so you can see outside that it is uh, it's a rainy day, which I was hoping for. So this right here is the pre-coated blackout fault we're going to start doing. Now keep in mind this is a portable uh, screen that's going to come with built-in grommets. Uh, I talked about it in the last video, so I got it outside with a garden hose shooting water down the side of the screen and of course it's raining because it's raining outside right now got rain outside nice and rainy today so anyway I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a demonstration of a burning fireplace scene with the garden hose spraying down on top of it and this has been going on since uh, maybe about 30 minutes so I mean, I don't care, my water bill is pretty low, so I should be good with the water bill. So, I'm just going to keep this running for maybe a couple of hours. Pull the projector inside because we have water that's coming up on the porch and I don't want it to damage the projector. So, I'm just going I wish, I wish they made an outer box for projectors. That would be pretty nice. Oh, first thing first, I didn't mention the name. Name is Kenneth Ferd. My company is Chris, sorry, Crystal Age. So I haven't used Crystal Age in a while. The company is Crystal Age Technology Screen. So, or, or the, the screen paint we developed. It's called a Luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light projection, technology gain times two and three. And as you can see, we're out here and the uh, early morning hours, noisy truck going past without a muffler. And um, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna get up on the screen so you can see up close, that we have water constantly shooting all down the side of the screen and it is raining out here. And where the screen is set, Right here, it's nowhere near under the roof, so you can see it's not being protected in any way whatsoever. I thought it'd be cool to do a fireplace scene. So these are the pre-coated screens that we're going to be selling on our website very soon. Uh, we're going to try to get it in 84. So we're looking to get 84, 100, and 120. All screens will be 16.9 and you'll have a choice of uh, three different forms, actually four different forms of the screen paint. That'll be a free color choice. We haven't decided on prices yet. But like I said, this screen is gonna be designed for indoor and outdoor if you choose. Um, also too, like I said, there'll be some wrinkles in the screen but can be removed with a warm, gentle iron. These are mainly designed for portable uh, screens and also to uh, use for outdoor use. One stubborn fire, isn't it? And just randomly thought it'd be pretty cool just to do a scenery on some fire. And let me show you where my projector is sitting. So I'm gonna step back a minute here. My projector is a good, probably about a good maybe 10 feet back. They're off the porch right now. I didn't want to do the demonstration on the porch and just to add insult to injury when actually I had the hose shooting water right down on the screen. So this would be a real fun demonstration to do. Now a few people chime in. I've done this already on um, I've done this demonstration already on my Facebook live account. I've had a few people asking me about whether or not if we were going to be doing this uh, with a, um, well for 150 inch, we're not going to do 150 inch screens, which is too big of a screen to ship. Um, so we're just going to keep it at 120, actually 120 is going to be the biggest we're going to do. Let me change it over to some fish. Now, like I said, the technology that is being used on here, this is actually our gamer paint. It's using the uh, ambient light rejection technology gain times three. That's why it's able to pull up an image and a fully, um, actually this is more than an ambient lit environment because it's outside. Of course, we got a porch light on, but I don't think that's going to make any, make any, um, any difference. 